at Applebee's, we feature many products, such as our numerous dishes off the 2 for 20 meals. You can also anticipate our exciting beverages, including the $1 drink of the month. While we excite our customers with our innovative products, we tend to overlook one area. Consider how the server, who brings out these fantastic dishes, feels in the situation. With 10 years of experience in the restaurant industry, today I will guide you on how we can better the lives of our staff. Starting off, let me bring your awareness to our weaknesses here at Applebee's. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a massive impact, especially in the hospitality field. Recognized in our SWOT analysis as a significant threat, many of our employees have felt that impact as well. Today we hear numerous stories about covering restaurants that need workers. Since opening back up from the lockdown, a lot of workers have not returned. Restaurants like us are now desperate to fill that void. The high employee turnover rate varies for many reasons, but we see this as a significant flaw in our establishments. It would bring us a great benefit to add a solution to this threat. One way to alleviate this primary concern is to provide incentives for workers to come back. Right now, with the gratuity system in place, many feel financial insecurity. It is hard to predict, when working in a restaurant, how much you will make per shift. For those employees who didn't return to work, many shifted towards a new career path. Why? Because financial insecurity was the defining reason for their personal change. Since we mentioned financial insecurity as a significant stressor for our staff, we shall also observe the work productivity itself. With the present gratuity system in place, customers determine how much your staff earn. According to MHA National.org, disengaged workers had a 49% more chance of accidents and 60% more chance of errors. Instances like receiving a negative tip can impact those negative tip, a poor tip can impact those negatively with their mindset followed by their productivity. Women make up the majority of 71% of these servers supplied by the statistics of HBR.org. The current scenario of appeasing guests for monetary exchange can lead to a potentially unsafe work environment. Typically, the server must be friendly with everyone she serves and some may take advantage of that. Nearly 80% of these women have experienced some form of sexual harassment, also stated by HBR.org. So as you can see, the main problems I addressed revolve around attracting staff to our establishment and ensuring that they will stay. Financial insecurity is why employee turnover rate is so high. The power dynamics involving tipping leads to a stressful environment for our staff. In addition, most of our team, which so happens to be women, are in danger in a potentially unsafe environment. Offering livable wages will address all of those problems in the service aspect of our brand. I know that as corporate leaders, Applebee's cares about their employees. Understandably, money is a valid concern. In the state of Georgia, minimum wage for tip service jobs is $2.13 an hour. This chart by Bloomberg.com showcases where Georgia stands compared to other states. Referencing the financial insecurity we talked about earlier, it is hard for many of those, especially in Georgia, to survive. To relieve both parties' concerns, we should provide a solution of compromise. Rather than stressing the idea of raising menu prices and scaring customers away, we can replace the gratuity system with a service charge instead. So basically, the service charge works kind of like a tip, it's based on percentages. Um, what's different though, the service charge works kind of like a tip, it's based on percentages. Um, what's different though is the service charge concept follows an already included charge on each customer's tab based on the percentage of the sale. So from a server perspective, or excuse me, a customer perspective, it would kind of be like being a tip. Rather than an individual relying on the customer, we could relieve the tension by distributing the pay ourselves. Paying higher than the minimum wage, which is $7.25 in Georgia, we can attract talented staff who can quickly produce high sales. So, why am I so confident with this idea? Well, basically, just because it works. When you show your team that you value them, they will pay it forward by working harder for you and following by a better work performance. One restaurant overcame their struggles and crafted a new method for their employees. The restaurant in Colorado called the Good Neighbors Meeting House has applied a similar method. Initially, they used a tip pull method where all the tips were divided among the staff that worked that shift. The strategy, though, caused issues and led to the allegations of wage theft. One of the owners, Russ Ware, decided to change his system in early 2021. He got rid of the tip pool method and instead added the service cost to the menu. Workers are now paid $16 an hour and also awaiting health benefits. The clientele is understanding and even shows support by posting numerous positive reviews online. In April of 2020, the pandemic took place. I'm gonna try. 
This chart, with data supplied by Mergen Online, shows both the sales represented by the green bars and the unemployment rate shown in the red line. In April of 2020, the pandemic took place and caused a drop in sales and a spike in unemployment. In January of 2021 is when they applied the new method, and since then, sales have gone up and the unemployment rate is slowly dropping down. So, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, with all these problems that we just discussed, this little service charge thing is going to fix that? Well, yeah, basically. We don't have to expend much thought when it comes to finding the benefits. For one, they provide the solutions that we just went over. In addition, they calm the worries of financial stress. And if anything, they change. This change can increase revenue. Another chart from epi.org has a similar pattern to the chart we just discussed with the Good Neighbors Meeting House. If we use a service charge to supply our wages to the staff, we can retain staff with cu without cutting into our profit. Not only does the financial aspect play a part, but prioritizing the comfort of the workplace has its benefits too. The traditional gratuity system has led to an intense competitive environment between the staff. Removing this extreme variable can promote teamwork and higher productivity. <laughs> The pressures of scoring a tip will also be reduced so the workers can actually focus on the job itself. The potential threats towards women can be avoided by eliminating the gratuity system and avoiding potential lawsuits. The most significant benefit is being the company that proves that they care about their people. To quickly recap, I would like you to remember these three key points. The effects of the pandemic and the financial insecurity are why employees feel compelled to leave and never return. The workplace is where servers face stressors such as bad tips or hostile customers, which leads to lower productivity. The application of creating a livable wages supplied by a service charge is how we will better the lives of our staff. Doing this will provide a safer workplace and place less power over customers, increasing their productivity. Thank you for joining me in this presentation today. I hope I somehow charge and show that Applebee's does care for their staff.